lot of people say, you know, I, I came to Christ because my love of Jesus. I came to Christ because of my fear of God. I totally understood that hell was not getting high with Jim Morrison. <laughs> hell was going to be the worst place ever. In fear, I came back to the Lord. But I went to another church and that pastor preached the love of Christ, which now you put the two together yeah. and it was exactly right. Yes. Well, you know, the Bible even says some saved by fear. You know, and there's a point where some people, they need the hell scared out. I'm telling you, I knew if I died and I knew, in other words, I knew who Christ was, Jesus Christ was. And I was denying him because I was living my own life and I was living my life without him. I knew that there had to either come a point where I either accepted Christ and started living that life, or if I died in this, I was in a lot of trouble. And that's what really motivated me. What does that mean when you say accepted Christ? What does it mean to... Well, you know, I don't think we accept Christ. I think we accept the fact that he accepted us. And I just got to a point of saying, I'm tired of this life. And I know that this is right. When people say, well, how do you know that? Put that into words and I go, you can't put that into words. It's because God opens your eyes and he says, you know, it's supernatural. And you try to tell that to people and they go, well, yeah, but so is voodoo and so is this. And I go, no, you don't understand. And I could never explain it to you. But when the Lord opens your eyes and you suddenly realize who you are and who he is, oh, it's a whole different world.